Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. You might have noticed that I'm outside, which is a bonus because it is summer and the sun is here. I mean, it's a bit cloudy at the moment, but you know, the sun will come out, let's hope. So I wanted to go through a couple of the traditions, rites and rituals about honouring the sun and the season with the flowers and the plants that love it. But five days ago, I ordered some jewellery from a company called Ana Luisa, and it has just arrived. So let's have a look at it. Oh, look. Oh, wow. So they come in these little pouches, and I've ordered three sets. So let's start with this one. Oh, this is the triple necklace set. So I've got this, you can see, and this one and this one. They're all worn as a set, so let's put them on and you can tell me what you think. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at those. Now, this is a bit of a problem because I actually bought this set with my daughter's birthday in mind, but now I've put it on, I actually don't want to take it off. I think it looks amazing. Oops. Anyway, let's see what else I got. It's the matching earrings. There's not a hope of my daughter getting any of these bits of jewellery now. I absolutely love them. Very me, I'm very into long dangly earrings. And finally, what else we get? We got... Ah, yeah, the emerald green set. If you can see those, that's a rather beautiful. So let's try on these two and see if they're as gorgeous as this one. It's absolutely stunning. They are great. I wear them all the time. And in fact, I'm going to. So if you would like to try some Ana Luisa jewellery, they have free shipping over the United States and they have fast and very good value shipping to other countries. So just go to the description box below and there is my discount link for you. I love them. I'm going to wear them constantly, I think. Don't forget, click on the link in the description box below. So the sun has been worshipped through generations. I think the Sumerians were the first people to really have a go at worshipping the sun. Coming up to midsummer, this is now the time to honour the season and spend a little time outside. The sun is such joy to me. I mean, maybe it's because I was born on a new moon in the middle of winter. I mean, literally the darkest times of the year, very close to midwinter itself. And so therefore, perhaps it's because it's such an opposite to when I came into this world. The summer is the time for life, for rituals, for marriages, for joy, for everything really. So the Druids, as well as our ancient pagan ancestors, always insisted that rituals should be done in the eye of the light and the face of the sun, meaning during the hours of daylight. And they, actually the Christian church took this over with because if you get married in a Christian church nowadays, you have to get married when the sun is above the horizon. Marriages should be done in the eye of the light. This is also the time of year when if you get up really early, you should see the sun simply dance for joy because this is its time. The dawn is a very specially sacred time to so many different nations. To our pagan ancestors, there were lots of traditions about it, especially with uh, dragons, for example. It's one of my favourites. Dragons would count their hoard of gold at dawn. People who are born at dawn are incredibly clever. Actually, funny enough, my eldest daughter was born at dawn and she's fearsomely bright, much brighter than myself or my husband, so I don't know where she got that from. It's probably not me, I should imagine. The sun has a very ego energy, meaning it's vicious and strong. It pushes you to go and do things. It's a growth and a pulling out energy. So this time of year, our pagan ancestors coming up to midsummer would ensure that everything was beautifully cleansed. And in fact, the midsummer bonfires were used to cleanse not just themselves, their cattle, their lands, their homes. So in honor of this time, we're going to make a, a smokestick 
out of the flowers of the sun, which I will then use throughout the darker months and it will bring that sunlight energy with it. Flowers and herbs that are beloved by the sun tend to have a reddish orange petals, but not always, of course. They often have many different colours, but we're going to take the most common and turn them into a smoking stick or a smudge stick in order to use it for incense. Because these herbs not only have the ability to help cleanse you psychically, but also enhance your magical powers. My first herb is the bay tree and as you can see I have two bay trees growing outside my door. Bay trees are always about protection and as well as having great mystical power they were used in the olden days as poultices for coughs and colds. The incense smoke produced from its leaves is said to induce a prophetic trance and famous oracles from ancient times would inhale its smoke in order to make their predictions. It's wonderful in winter because during the darkest months of the year, it brings the light of the summer upon you. My second choice is rosemary. Rosemary is a wonderful plant, especially for relieving depression. As an incense, it used to be used for asthma and lung complaints because it calms the inside linings of your lungs. However, you can see this is my rosemary and any house where rosemary grows, the mistress rules and mine doesn't. So obviously my house is ruled by possibly the dogs. However, rosemary has always been used as a protective incense. It has the most marvellous ability to repel evil as well as being obviously a cleansing herb. Gardeners who grow rosemary will never be without friends and the Americans believe that if you plant it by your door you will receive great luck. Rosemary should be picked at midsummer because the volatile oils contained within the herb are at their greatest strength. And for those of you who are currently doing exams, a few drops of rosemary essential oil has wondrous results on focus. My final choice of herb for this particular stick is lavender, and this is mine. It's not quite in flower yet, but that doesn't really matter. Not at this precise moment, because we're simply burning the leaves and the buds for incense. Lavender is wondrous at bringing on psychic strength and is considered a plant of luck. Not only does it keep the moths from your clothes, but it also keeps demons from your door as it prevents evil from entering your house. And if you place it around the lintel of your doors, you will not be troubled by negative energies. The making of the stick itself is incredibly simple. You simply bunch everything together and then wind it round with either thread or string. I'm going to use red thread because red is a traditional colour of protection and all three of these herbs have protective elements. As a result, this particular stick is going to be very good at cleansing, clearing and cleaning not just my own psychic aura but the aura and intent of my home. I'm going to use it around midsummer in order to cleanse my home of all negative energies. Once I have tied it up, as you can see, like this, I'm simply going to leave it to dry for a few days until I can light it and use it. For more content such as this, do go to patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metherill. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe because you know that's how I carry on making more videos for you. And do check out the description box for your discount code for the Anna Louisa jewellery. And hopefully, I will see you all next week.